come back. It's time to get interactive. <coughs> hey. Hello. What's up with you? Today I brought only two devices. So you don't need my help. Uh, Here, hold on to this one for oh the meantime. Dear me. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, we're talking about, you know, the state of affairs in people's pockets. Hmm. Yeah. So are you poor? No, I wouldn't say I'm poor. Okay. Definitely not. Are you rich? I wouldn't say I'm rich either. Are you poor rich? <laughs> you don't want to say anything, okay? Well, only about 8.4% of Ghana's population live in extreme poverty. When I talk about extreme poverty, I mean people who cannot afford two CDs, 17 pesos a day on food. I am not saying this. That is what the Ghana Living Standards Survey 2013, conducted by the Ghana Statistical Service, is saying. The objective of this show is not to downplay the report, but to find out whether it is reflective enough of the situation. I'm saying this because we all know prices of goods in the country have increased and in fact keep increasing every day. So what is the true state of poverty in Ghana? I'm Ifo Akwa Harrison, and this is Reality Check Wednesday on GN Interactive. Please stay with us. Joy News Interactive is brought to you in association with... Surfline. It's about time. Well, join us via social media. We're on facebook.com forward slash Joy News on TV. You can find us on twitter.com forward slash Joy News on TV or at JN Interactive GH. Shoot us an email at joinnewsim at multitvworld.com or send your messages through on WhatsApp. The number is 0540109009. 0540109009. And remember, Join News Interactive is proudly supported by Surfline. It's about time. So, what is your poverty situation? Do you know anyone who you can qualify as poor? What would you use to judge whether someone is poor? Kojo Sedaga is a senior economist at the UNDP. He joins me via Skype. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Join News Interactive. You're welcome. Now, what is the definition of poverty? Uh, actually, poverty has many definitions. Uh, but to go straight to the point, uh, we use monetary poverty. That is where we use uh, a certain level of uh, financial limit to say if you are below certain uh, thresholds then you are within the, the the poor bracket and we also use uh, other measures that we call them non-monetary uh, uh, measures uh, for example you you can be multi-dimensionally poor where we will look at certain issues relating to your living condition your livelihood your education standards your health status we we'll look at all those, and we call those as non-monetary poverty. That depending on your situation, you can be poor. Uh, anyway, uh, we want to look at it, be um, it monetary or non-monetary. So, on what basis can we then say that Ghana has achieved okay, the millennium? Okay, for Ghana to achieve the millennium uh, development goal one, uh, uh, basically we use a monetary poverty indicator for that particular one, and where we said. Uh, you should be able to have poverty uh, between 1990 to uh, 2015. You should be able to have the poverty and you, using 1990 as the base. Uh, and in the case of Ghana, uh, the poverty at, at 1990 was 51.7% at, at that time. And uh, we have moved on uh, to when we did the GLSS 5, that is the Living Standard Survey 5. Poverty level was 28.5 percent, and uh, and that is in 2005, 2006. And it tells us that we are almost getting closer to uh, the attainment of that particular goal. And as of yesterday, when Ghana Statistical Service released 
the new Southern Living Survey 6 uh, data, we found out that poverty level is 22.2%. Uh, that should tell us that we are far uh, ahead of the target before the 2015. Based on what can we say that Ghana has achieved the, um, actually, sorry, considering the current hardship, can we say that the poverty situation is the true reflection of reality? Um, hardships do come along uh, every economic cycle, uh, but here uh, we are mostly concerned with the averages and what has accumulated over the years. Uh, at times, economic hardship does not necessarily mean that the people are poor. Uh, it just does mean that things are difficult. And it can push some people into the poverty zone anyway. Uh, but there is no data now that we can use to say, well, this particular difficulty that we are having from 2013 to, to now, uh, it's actually uh, going to has pushed this number of people into poverty. The data that the Ghana Saska Service used, the survey was done in 2012 and 2013. So the current one, it will be a bit challenging or for somebody to just draw a blanket conclusion that this has pushed this number of people into poverty. Thank you so much yep. for joining us. Um, so we've been asking what your definition of poverty is on Facebook, and um, let's go on there right now. Okay, people haven't actually been answering the questions, but let me see. Okay, okay, great. Found the actual question. We put two questions on there. I found the correct one. So, what is your definition of poverty? Mohammed Uthman says. Unable to meet your basic needs in life. Philip Ansa says, inability to afford basic necessities. Um, and coming from Augustine Kontomo, poverty is when you no longer have money after you have tasted it. <laughs> after you have tasted money before in your life. Okay, interesting. Um, so... Poverty is not as a result of lack, but the case where people are not able to make use of available resources to provide their basic needs. And that's coming from Clemente Usue Fuye. Henrietta Louisa Nelson Kofi says, Poverty, when you have no land to farm for food and to dig for water and for clay and woods to make your own little house. All other things are Western adaptations of what wealth is. The West gets to do this well only four months in a year. Okay, that's interesting. Hussein Adam says, when you cannot provide your needs, when you cannot provide plantain and consumery for yourself, no kobe, no cacao, no palm oil, akne, <laughs> or two zafi, no abobitadi and okro soup. Wow, okay, interesting one there. Uh, Emmanuel says poverty is simply allowing your soaked gari to swell before you eat it. Wow, 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 wow. Interesting one there from Emmanuel. Um, King Ahmed said the state of being poor or the lack of something. Gupsin Guba says it's relative. If not, what is said to be for the poor wouldn't be consumed by those who are assumed not to be poor. That's a tongue twister and a riddle there, Guba Gubsin. Um, Majid Awudu says poverty is a situation in which someone does not have enough money to pay for their basic needs. Nana Opoku Somwa says poverty is a state where one lacks the basic needs of life, food, shelter, and clothing. John Paul Awito says, less privileged in the society who cannot afford basic needs. So that's your definition of poverty. Evans Adai says, poverty is not the abs absence of required necessity. It is 
a mindset. If you want to receive in abundance, it sounds absurd, but it is the truth. Okay. Abuga Abel says, when you lack basic necessity. Newman Mamata says, refusing to work to get paid. Really? That's what profit. Okay. Refusing to work to get paid. Okay. Got it. Rain Jonah says, living on less than $10 a day is poverty. And our minimum wage is how much? Six CDs? Technically, about 70% of Ghanaians are poor, according to my definition. Hmm. Um, Kulo Ali says, when one lacks everything in life. Daniel Kombiok Jr. says, when you are not able to provide your needs. And so on, Eric says, poverty means the condition where people's basic needs for food, clothing, and shelter are not being met. And final comment here on what your definition of poverty is. Inusa Bisiba, a condition where people's needs for food, clothing, and shelter are not being met. There are two types of poverty. These are one, absolute poverty, and two, relative poverty. And those are your comments coming in from Facebook. We are indeed happy that Ghana has at least achieved MDG goal one, but is the reset reflective of the actual situation? We have been finding out. Oh, absolutely, I don't think it's true. Um, looking at the circumstances, the conditions that we find ourselves today, um, if one come and tell us that poverty has reduced in Ghana, then the person is trying to put a dust on our eye. And I, I don't believe it is true. Um, looking at the statistic, look at the situation that we are finding ourselves in. Nothing can convince me to believe that poverty has reduced in Ghana. Certainly not. It's a real joke. It's a real joke. Uh, I think they are throwing dust into our eyes. It is high time they tell us the truth so that we do something about it. Than giving us false hopes and then giving us figures like we, we, we cannot even try them. As of now, people are completely the industry and no job. And I don't, I'm actually working in a replacement agency. And when you get on board, even the university graduates are even opting for the, the people are willing to pay them 300 cents, which is very bad. Which is very bad, considering your school fees and uh, the books you buy at the university level, and then looking at what they are telling us, it's, it's, it's absolutely not. It's, it's, it's really a joke. Oh, you hear the government say, oh, they are doing this, they are doing that, they are building this thing, they are building. But are the people experienced? Do you see it in the lives of people? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think so. For me, no. But those uh, figures that they did, Ghana has started this out. Invalid because who said uh, poverty has been? Get to the marketplace. I'm a businessman. Look at the shop. We deal with clothes and uh, shoes and what, whatever. You hold it. If poverty has been reduced, as I'm talking to you now, the food is not going to be enter the shop. You buy. So if you tell me poverty has been reduced, on what grounds? It has no looks. So me, I can't. I, I don't even see. My, my friend, they are, they, are, they are talking rubbish to that guys. I don't have money to eat, I don't have money to pay for my work, school fees, and, and a whole lot. I, I, I remember last time a friend of mine came to me asking for money. For what? Just eat. So does it mean that poverty as a whole in Ghana is gone? And most people that I knew that are well doing you know, in my life that I knew that well doing. So let us know what you think, whether, you know, the current um, information coming from the statistical service is indeed reflective of how Ghana is right now. Um, remember, if you're sending us a message via WhatsApp, add your name and your location. We'll be right back. <laughs> You're still watching Joy News Interactive. We are talking about the latest figures coming out um, of the Ghana Statistical Service where they say 
only 8.4% of the population, the Ghanaian population, lives in poverty. Um, now, we've been asking what your definition of poverty is. Let me take a few WhatsApp um, messages. Joshua from Accra says, poverty is more of an experience than a definition. It is when Gary with Pepe becomes a delicacy instead of a last resort. <laughs> Richard from Insawam says, poverty is a state where you are physically challenged to the extent that you can't fend for yourself. Um, you also say poverty has not reduced the unemployment rate has gone up and standard of living is still high. Thank you, Richard. So unfortunately, I cannot show you the WhatsApp comments on screen. I can only read them to you. Okay. Poverty is when you cannot afford your basic needs and wants. Prince Michael, United States of Akachi. <laughs> Thank you for that comment. Magzi from Bimbila says, frankly, in my community, only 2% are rich. Really, you've done um, a survey. You, ha you have the figures. If you do, please send it to us. Okay? Um, let me go on to Facebook now and take a few more of your comments. We've been asking whether you think this research done by the Statistical Service is indeed reflective of the true situation in Ghana at the moment. Um, and Paul Sergio believes that they are lying to us. Fred Jam also agrees and says, all lies, the figures are cooked, you know, um, go down to the people and you see for yourself. Um, Amuzu Oscar says, I don't think so. It is beyond that because we are suffering too much. La. It's not just la, la. Okay. Abeku Krenzel from Agona Sredu says, these people are not putting up the right figures. If you get to the ground, you will see that people are in poverty. But keep in mind that the figure, the survey actually was done in 2012. So, you know. Yeah, things have changed, 2013, 2014. So maybe then in 2012, you know, people were doing quite well. Um, Dabia Innocent says, this is untrue. It is the direct opposite in the real life situation and even on paper. And Abuga Abel says, I don't believe it because the rate at which inflation figures are rising um, okay, let me take that again. I don't believe it because the rate at which infl inflation figures rise and the salary of workers stay stagnant, we cannot achieve that. Okay. And Makion Dara Manison says, if they say so, what are they doing? If they say so, what are they doing to help the 8.4 they are talking about? Okay. Um, Nana Kwabna Ajikum says, come and see how I struggle to pay my fees. If you wear your suits, get tea bags in hot water with fresh milk, you talk nonsense. Okay. All right. Ridwan Osman says, what? Um, Ghana Statistical Service is really messed up. Almost 30% of the country's population are living in poverty and um, Avenga Simon believes that they are deceiving us and it is not true. Uh, Modestus Gold also believes it is not true. How did they do their research? Okay. And Ali Nopeb says, please kindly go back to school. Your calculations are 100% wrong. And these are your comments coming via social media, WhatsApp and Facebook.